Hi guys, welcome hey. back to Hashtag Couple Goals Podcast. With Garth and Candice. In this week's episode, we are chatting about arguments and do we have them? Kijk je mensen voor snel aan. Oh, je is nog een ander topic nou hier. Yeah, do we argue, babe? Uh, not no. actually. Eh? I can only recall, I think, all of two times that we've argued. Like, Throughout our seven years of marriage. <laughs> <laughs> or before our marriage. Before we got married. Did we do? Did we argue when we got married? I think we only did like once or something, but I can't even remember. I Seriously. only recall arguing... Okay, what is an argument? Let's first start argument there. Is, I, th- I think, from my perspective, argument is um, we screaming at each other. and yeah, Let's and, find out from yeah. Google. What, and, what is, and he's screaming back. <laughs> I think that's arguments. Yeah. You know? I just I actually just want to pull but up we what always have is disagreement. An that's what we have. Yeah. No, we, like a we disagreement. have disagreement. And then we're like, why are we disagreeing? What is your... Mm. Oh, oh, I uh, understand you. We, so we're talking about the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I said the same thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, why are we disagreeing <laughs> if it's the same thing? That is what we have. Um, we don't have arguments. Yeah. Okay. So there's two uh, on Google, guys. So it's an exchange of diverging or opposite views. Typically, mm-hmm. typically a heated or angry one. Does it? That's all. And then, okay, the second one is obviously a reason or set of reasons given in support of an idea, action, or theory. So that's like law argue. No, yeah. I think the first one. Yes. That is what always um, happens in a relationship. Depends. I, whoops, I remember uh, one incident that really comes to mind was when you had someone over, <clears throat> a friend over to the studio, and we... We we already had, before we started, before we got married, mm. already put into place that um, you have your studio time yeah. and then you have us time. Mm. And um, I obviously didn't mind you having this person over, but then this person asked if they can sleep over. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Little did I know, this person's girlfriend was also there. <laughs> and you recorded till I don't know what time hmm. And I was already sleeping But obviously I couldn't sleep Because I was so upset And because now it's like And I'm not going to disturb you Because you're obviously recording You're in studio So I'm not going to be that wife um, Because you need to work But And I knew this girl was there But when you came to bed I didn't know did you tell me she's sleeping over? Then you, I think you told me she's sleeping uh, over. Then, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, heck no. Mm. I woke up early. It was a Sunday morning. And I, we still planned to go to church. Yeah. I left you at home. And my mom is like, where's Garth? I said, I don't want to talk about it. Right now, let's go to church. Sitting in church, fuming. You're really blowing up my phone. <laughs> like, what's happening? Where are you? Why? Uh-uh. And, um... But I obviously felt bad, and I think you, you, I said I only talk to you once the people leave, once they once they've left, yeah, once they've mm-hmm. left, and um, you took a taxi down <laughs> to my mom, yeah, <laughs> to you, <laughs> and you, then we spoke, but I gave you my reasons why, and I think you understood because you also then knew where you've crossed the line. Mm-hmm. You crossed the line with, um, first of all. You spent too much time in the in the studio, and then you allowed someone to come, another girl to sleep over. In, said no, my ma, so put cost of the crap. Oh, your mommy was upset. <laughs> yeah. Your your yeah. mommy that was, was that was yeah. Uh, then I think you knew you you there you crossed yeah, the line. Yeah, I think like, yeah. I think that that's when I just got <laughs> cheesed off. Like no, 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 no. Yes, you don't don't ever do that yeah. in my mother's house. Yeah. Don't do that, please. I just also want to say uh, the reason why we I, I don't allow girls, and I think you also don't, you've never yeah. allowed girls or extra people, is because, awesome. what do you always say? What are they doing there? Yeah. 
in the studio. Like they're just sitting what, there. Yeah, sitting there doing nothing. And giving advice they don't know about. Yeah, and this is not so. America where we allow, you know, girlies and unnecessary Older. stuff to go on in the studio. No, uh-uh. that's not happening here. It's all work, no play. So that was my one time, I remember. But mm. it wasn't even an argument. Yeah, we didn't. We don't have heated. Is there something wrong with us? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, talking, I'm like sitting and thinking. <laughs> it's like so cute with us. Because yeah. we don't argue. And then the second time we were away with the cousins. And I didn't like something you did. Something you said. Yeah, something I said, yeah. Uh, I think partly because it was embarrassing to me. Um... Because of I think the situation. it's because probably because I think I felt embarrassed that day. Is it? Yeah, because oh. they were obviously talking and saying, "Ah, but you're okay, hot, whatever." Like, oh. and I felt like, "Okay, no, no, I need to not tell you now." Yeah, because now I'm cheesed off. Uh, and yeah, and when I said it, it just came out wrong. It came out so and wrong. My tone also wasn't. Yeah, because there you could, I think you could pick up uh, this brass like of why. Yeah, because I was just like in my vibe. I was just, yeah. heavy. I was like having a fun time. I was, uh, there was no debo- debauchery going on, nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, nothing scandalous or whatever. Um, it was I think just you... something that irritated me. Yes. And it was irritating them. And they obviously told me. Yes. The, but you should have. The things that they said, man. I yes. think that cheesed me off. Yes. And what you should have done was Call me Rather aside, one side and one. because I was also intoxicated. I was, ha- we were drinking, you yeah. know, we were yeah, drinking. We were. We I was having were. fun. I was we like, were, you yeah. know, we yeah. were drinking. Um, it was the way you approached. I mean, mm. that whole weekend, like I was beyond. First of all, we were at a house and because we're such nice people, we decided, okay, because the person who booked the house, they can have the double room and the other one can have, we were already sleeping on separate beds. <laughs> so the whole weekend you were sleeping on your own and I was sleeping on my own. I oh. hardly spoke to you that weekend. We only played nice, but everybody could see like yo because yeah, I, I, I can't hide yeah. I can't hide uh, my feelings. Uh, and only with the Sunday before we left. Then only we start speaking and And then that was a bit of a heated conversation mm. that we had in the car outside. Yeah. Where nobody else can hear. Not that we're proud or anything. But why must we have a shouting match in front of people? Yeah, and it was never going to get to a shouting match. Mm-mm. It was just a bit of a heat. We just needed yes. to patch up and fix things. Yes. Before, Immediately before, before we go home. Because damn two hours of not talking in a car is not no, cool. No, no, no. <laughs> no, don't let that happen, people. Please sort out. Yalla. Sort all the fillers out. Full the sack and the fillers drum gaat gooi. Yes. So. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think that's the only times I can really but count then we on, haven't. like I can recall that we've You, had... I think there's something wrong with us. <laughs> I think it's also because you grew up in a home where you witnessed your parents having an argument behind closed doors. That's it. Yeah. And it also wasn't a negative. It was no, more no. of a... There was no... Mode, no. Hoe kom en jy die gedoen? That's it. Lionel, I get so good. And so, and so, and so. so. Yeah. Yeah, it was never about um, swearing at each other. Mm. It wasn't um, shoving each other, like, stood for your can, stood for my dick and then. Yeah, there was no violence. There was this. no violence. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> you know, they went to the room, mm. goof, closed with the door. Mm. Now you know, whoa. Mm. I, don't cut no rock. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Now we, like, listen also. And like, what, what's here? Uh. What's here? What's here? What's here? Stand, you know, when you still stand with the glass. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> against the. Yeah. I don't know what that was, but anyway, some people say it works. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. But then they would, you can hear the discussion. Okay. But it was a civilized discussion. Mm. It wasn't screaming, it wasn't no nothing. Ugly. It wasn't ugly. That's the thing. Yes. And then they come out to the room after an hour or something. Then uh. still we were happy. Uh. Loving. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much Mm. Like that, you know, and I'm like, okay, you guys just had an argument. Like, is it so hard, uh, But there was nothing, nothing else. Complete, complete opposite different. to me and my experience again. Oh yeah, mm. completely. Ah, yeah. uh, we're still loving in it. I mean, yeah. guys, let's be real. Yeah, 
over at the Declerc residence. Mm. It's still <laughs> um, going strong. It's still going strong. Um, <laughs> and my uh, upbringing, it's actually sad if you mm. think about it. Myself and my sister shared a room when we had a double bunk. And um, like on a Saturday morning, we could hear my parents, you know, ooh, look at talking, you know, Saturday morning planning now what they're going to do for the day. And I'll never forget. My sister was on the top bunk, I'm on the bottom bunk. And I tell Mandy, and I say, just wait. They're going to argue soon. And just, <laughs> you know, seriously, God, every set, and this was always before we must go to retreat road, because that's where you go buy your vegetables and mm-hmm. your apples mm-hmm. and bananas. And, you know, then you go to Weinberg, okay. my, you know. So just before that, and then every time it, it was an argument over something stupid. stupid, but that's again another example of people that look. If they didn't get married, I would I, I wouldn't have been here, mm-hmm. right? But it's again another example of you need to know yourself. You need to know who you're marrying, and so on. And I knew I don't want that for myself. There has to be a better way of communicating with someone. Exactly. And, you know, I can be very combative if I really want to. I can be really strong. I say, that's why I always I tell everybody, like, God got the best version of me. The best. Because I don't stand down for nobody, no matter Mm-mm. who you are. I don't stand down for that person. But in, I knew that if whoever I'm going to marry, that's not the kind of relationship I want that my parents have. Mm-hmm. I don't want that. And you need to make a conscious decision that you're going to be a better person, man. Yeah. Because what is and what is okay, let's start there. What is what does arguing in an ugly way actually do? It's only it does, like, makes things worse. It makes things worse. It's almost like it chips away another part of your soul, another part of your heart. And what you feel for that person. Because like, some arguments turn so ugly. Mm-hmm. Then you have to hear about yeah. the in-laws and you have to hear think, about this. <clears throat> and I think, sorry, the reason also why it becomes an ugly situation is because in that time when they are arguing, there's always something that, they will say. Mm. They kind of didn't mean to say it, mm. but it just comes out because this is the perfect time now to say it. But that so means I'm going to dish it out. It was on the heart all the time. It was That's another problem. Heart. That I is mean, another problem. You know, we also know of another couple that is unfortunately now divorced. And every single time they argue, they must hear about, yes, but your mother and your father, like they're always bringing up yeah. An, an issue that has got nothing an to excuse. do with what they Rather were arguing. Say that. Yes. Rather bring up an excuse that's got nothing to do with, with what's really happening. Yeah, yeah. That is sad. That's really sad. And, you know, I think that's also what used to frustrate me about my friends mm. or, or basically them being married and me not yet being married. Because <clears throat> I always envisioned where a couple should be like my mom and dad. Because mm. that's what I dream of having, you know. And, um, but they were never the same. They weren't like that. Mm. And the, the attitudes that they had towards, uh, towards each other mm. and, um, the things they used to say to one another, it was like, yo, is my marriage going to be like this? Mm. If I'm going to get married to, yeah. because if it is, then, then I don't want to get married. If it's going to sound like this. Yeah. Or if, if this is the reaction that you're going to get when you get home. Yeah. Do you know? No, 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 no. Yeah. It's like, oh, really? I don't want to get married anymore. So, babe, you were married before, right? And yes, yes, I was. We kind of know that we, we, I'm sure, <laughs> you can confirm, <laughs> we, we have the relationship that you dreamed of, that yes. your parents. How was your previous relationship when it came to arguments? Like, was it ugly arguments or was it? I would say that... Um, and there's obviously been, with respect, yeah, you know, there's, to there's your been ex. some heated conversation, like arguments. Mm. And, um, you know, there were some points where they really got ugly. Okay. Um, no eating, no, nothing, no, nothing about nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. But it, it really got to a point where, like you said, it chips away mm. of what you're really feeling for that person. Okay. And it makes you feel belittled. Yeah. You know? It makes you feel that you're not a man anymore. Mm. And I think that's where 
you then move outside your circle mm. and then you try and find that person or that people that you can actually talk to that appreciates you more mm. or that will listen to you mm. because now you're trying to you're trying to get out that anger mm. <coughs> sorry you try and get out that anger but it just comes out wrong mm. because like you said everything has been kept inside mm. and once it gets out it comes out very ugly yeah so now the communication skills in the relationship is also not great so That's now it. you can't also talk about what just came out now it comes out in an argument but because you couldn't bring it up any other way, that's now how it's oops, how it's now going to come and, out. And that's the thing, because now it becomes, um, <clears throat> as what they wish to say, fighting fire with fire. Yes. You know, and that never works. That does not work. Because now the ugliness that comes out of your mouth, mm. that person gets the opportunity. Oh, okay. Oh, so now, that's yes, how you so want to play it. Yeah, yeah, oh. Nothing for yes, your foot, y'all. Yes. Now that, on the other side, also comes out uglier. Mm. Now the whole conversation, everything is messed up. Mm. Now you, now as as a person, you try and patch it up from your side, yeah. but it doesn't work Mm-mm. because what you already said is already out there, mm. and that person is just ah, going at it now. For those I put one on a duck, yeah. So it does. You don't come to a conclusion. It doesn't end there, and now you stay upset for each other for a week. Yeah, you don't talk for a week or anything. You just ignore each other or pass each other. And it's like mm, yeah, mm. morning. Mm. Whatever. How do you go to bed sleeping? I mean, that two times that we've that we've and it, touched on. Yeah, and there's so much that times that that with my ex we have gone and slept that way. Oh, I can't. I you, don't. You're you like just upset it. for the whole world. You blame the whole world. I can't. That that two times was like the worst because I can't imagine not turning around and hold you and you know like we like we do. And, Do you know how bad my arguments used to get with my exes? I mean, I ended up having to take out a protection order. That's heavy. That, that, that's over my ended up my bar <laughs> with being is... smacked around. Hit. Oh my word! It was terrible. It was. Um, but there was a lot of underlying causes. One of it was obviously insecurities, which then also led to arguments because yeah. I was insecure. That plays um, a big role also. So we spoke about this in one of our previous ep- episodes where you know you know your strength and your weakness of your partner. Mm-hmm. So obviously my exes knew my weakness and played on it. So oh, when I was in that moment, instead of to- reassuring me, Instead of saying, you know, um, Candace, it's really not like that. Can we just go for a walk? Can we just, just like, tell me, tell me why you feel this way. Mm-hmm. No. Let's speak about it. Played that. on it. Okay, yes, young, dumb and stupid, obviously, because, I mean, who really knows themselves at 20, whatever. Um, and I had to phone the police. How embarrassing. You know, if I look back at my 20s, like, jeez, did I really have to put myself through all of that? But it's also because of what I saw at home. Like being combative was the only way to resolve something. And thinking that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. So you say something, like you said, fight fire with fire. I'm going to say something better back. That's it. Back that's better. That's the problem. I mean, yes. And that's it problem. actually doesn't. It doesn't work. No. Not it at all. doesn't help the situation at all. Not at all. It really doesn't. Yeah. And I think also one of the things that helps us not that we don't escalate. Um, mm-hmm. our, our disagreements don't escalate is because yeah. we've also discussed um, I also told you I think it was at our first date or something the one we had at Grand West yeah. where, I, where I said if I am angry just leave me alone yeah you always said yeah um, look always if, when, when, I, when you see me I'm at that point um, just leave me let me be a bit mm. you know, I, I will I will Get myself back together again, and mm. I will come to you, and I will speak to you about it. Mm. But just leave me for that for that couple of minutes, you know. Yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. That's fine. Don't argue I can do back that. with I'm me. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'll stay out of your way. Yeah. And then we'll meet each other halfway again, uh. and then we chat about it. Yeah. Yeah. And that has always worked. Mm. Always. Because I I know my trigger is if you're going to push back, mm. I'm going to push harder. Because yeah. then it becomes a challenge to me. And that I thrive in. <laughs> it's not nice to say. 
And I think, it's really not nice. But I, at least I can but, admit but what true. my, my, my thing is. And, yes. um, that's also where I can jump in, you mm-hmm. know. Um, I was also born that way where my mother and father used to say, Yes. And I think that I grew up with. Um, so I had that in my previous marriage as mm. well. You know, mm. so, and she was a very strong person also. Yes. So <laughs> when she voiced her opinion or when she came hard at me, mm. then, yo, then I, I went at it a few times where wow. her eyes were like so big. Wow. Like, oh, snap. Mm. Did you know, it got, it got to that point already. Yeah. Because once I started raising my voice mm. and I become very, very angry, mm. I become very loud. I speak very loud. Yes, of course. That's. And I think that's. <laughs> I witnessed that. <laughs> that's get a lot of people because they always say, nah, but um, God is. I say, by a sachto. Yeah. But um, you need to from quiet mark. Yeah. From quiet mark. Yeah. When then as they begin to hard prat and then prat they buy hard. The whole neighborhood can for more. I speak very loud. Yeah. And I speak with no, a very scary voice. You've got. You've. So. You have a very. <laughs> Like you speak when you when you at in, in that mode that I witnessed. Mm. Like I think it was w- once, like a personal I, it matter. Was, it was just once, yeah. Yeah, um, you you raised your voice and like I think that person. That was the day that person said, "Oop, oop, <laughs> okay, not gonna yeah. mess with you again." <laughs> I underestimated you, and it wasn't you, no. Did no, guys, no, it's not me. Yeah, did you guys it's the, not me. <laughs> the viewers think that we're speaking about all the listeners are thinking no, that it was me and you. It wasn't me and you. No, no. Um, it, it was, was a, just a personal matter. It a was a personal, personal matter. matter it was yes. someone else's. Yes, yes. And yes. I just stood up for Candace. Yeah. And I thought to myself, do you know what? This Mm-mm. is my wife. Yeah. And you are not going to speak to my wife this way. Yeah. Because we got married. But how funny was that moment also? Like you allowed me to engage. Yeah, I was just standing back. I was was like standing behind you. Yeah, because you knew I can handle myself. I knew it, yes. But then it got to a point. And then it was like, okay, wait, now I am. It was coming to that that almost uh, physical part. Yes. It was like, uh, excuse me? Mm. VSJ. I'm like, yo. Not a memory that I really want to go no. back to, or but it had to happen. But also. it had to happen. It had to happen because that person now because the treats... boundaries were set. Yes, yes, yes. One thing I've also learned, and I don't know how you feel. Maybe you can tell me how it feels. I actually never asked you. Is when I feel upset about something, I don't know if you notice. I don't initially talk about it. I will wait till I've. Because this is also what I've learned about myself. I mean, growing up and in my 20s, like you've heard now about my exes and so on, I would immediately be combative. But then I've learned, um, it's something that I, I actually asked God to help me with. Uh, I've learned then, take a step back, let it simmer, think mm-hmm. it through, or try to do something else. But that never works with me. <laughs> I have to deal with something now. But... When it, when, sorry, when it comes to my husband and our relationship, I've decided to take a step back, a uh, little summer, uh, still can't do anything else, uh, but maybe just have a cup of coffee or whatever, and then I will text you. Yeah. <laughs> and then the essays come out. <laughs> a yellow paragraph. <laughs> but I also... A dozen word. Yes, but I feel that that is my way of... And I don't just send... Please, people, ooh, don't just sin. Read. Well, sometimes you need to type something, read it, and then it's like, ooh. You know? Like you read and like, okay, that's a bit harsh. Sometimes it's necessary, but don't be ugly. Again. That's big difference. If you have a disagreement or something that you're not happy with, try to see from the other person's side also. Mm-hmm. Um that's when maturity comes in. But how do you feel when you get those those long Look, Miss. the first thing is when that long message pops up, then I know, whoa, <laughs> yeah, it's not a, it's not a happy message, uh, message to uh, So just read it, uh-huh. um, be wise, yeah, you know, think before you say something, uh-huh. um, see it from her point of view, and then answer. Mm. And then um, while reading it, and then I'll first break it down mm. because I need to understand it. Yeah, you know, and while reading it, I need to. I need to find 
what your your body language or your tone was mm. while when you typed it because it's very important mm. and um ele moet nie kom te worry nie jy sal begin 'n body language en tones jy sal hulle begin leer moet nie worry nie um <laughs> yeah but that's it's very important so after reading it and then you know, you, you feel that certain way where mm. um you don't feel depressed or anything i don't mm. feel depressed or anything i just feel that um it kicks me in the butt mm. you know it's like dude jy het verkeerd gedoen we did something wrong mm. you no know, we need to man up and then explain yourself explain why mm. explain why you did it in the first place mm. because then she will understand mm. you know and then that's how I, I normally felt but it it scares you mm. it, it kind of gets to you yes you know? when you get the log message <laughs> yeah it, it, i'll be honest it, it gets to you because um. now you know this is a serious matter man yeah it's nothing to joke about yeah and you need to take this serious because it's your marriage this is your wife mm. so sort your crap out now so i actually prefer to text because it takes me out of the home mm-hmm. and i've now already gotten dressed gone to yeah, work yeah. um said hi to gail and um already like spoken you know about whatever how was your evening so and so uh, and so uh, uh. so i've kind of cooled down go get my coffee check my emails and then usually like later I'll be like okay, okay so no, this is fine. how I'm feeling yeah. and um it, it it helps me man because now like I said I'm putting it down on on phone <laughs> on paper on, <laughs> on paper and I'm reading it and it kind of gives me more clarity on why I'm upset or yeah. what upset me um And I can't even think of what it was now. <laughs> It's like, what was it that upset me the last time? Like, it was something. Yeah. Um, something, yeah. But also, something that I told you, you need to work on, is like, you need to also speak up, man. You mm. know, sometimes when you see I'm upset, you leave me alone, which I appreciate. But then you also don't come to me afterwards and be like, babe, so why are you upset? <laughs> And sometimes I'm just waiting for that. I'm like, oh, wait, is he going to ask? Is he going to ask? Because then, I, <laughs> then I'm ready to talk, but then you don't. Because <laughs> I think that's just how, because we know each other, you know. But then I also want you to ask me, I think it was not too long ago. Yes, it was something I was upset about. Uh. And then we just said, like, it was something, I think it was something dumb. It must have been something dumb because I can't even remember what it was. It was dumb. Yeah, and it wasn't still a factor. But, <laughs> but seriously, guys, God, don't ask me why you upset. He makes my tea. We sit and watch TV. Nothing. But the atmosphere is so icy in the house. It's sitting bed holding hands. But, like, I just wanted him to ask me why you upset. <laughs> but anyway, and then... I texted you and then you all you replied was something and I'm like oh so you know I'm upset and you don't <laughs> <laughs> Oh that's <is> funny. <laughs> But then we resolve it. Then mm. and then I don't even we don't even, I don't even come home and like we don't even rehash whatever we, we whatever happened. Listen, you make your cup of tea and and, and move back on to with normal. business. <laughs> I think it's because we 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 always to say that you know, you can't let life just stand still in one position. Man. Yeah, you need to that move forward true. because yeah, now you're wasting so much time on something that wasn't a huge factor at all. Yeah, um, spoke uh, spoke about it, uh, fixed it, and finish. Move yeah, it, move to one side. Just get out of the way because we need to move forward, and that has always been our approach mm. um, in life. Mm. You know? In this life relationship, really yeah, that's and also true. Life is so short now. You, yeah. I mean, this with this pandemic that's going on now. I mean, and, and here that, today, gone tomorrow, or I can go thing. into isolation. You can go into isolation. I don't see you again. And then, like yeah. you, so so for me, yeah. life is so short that you don't want your last memory to be an argument. An argument. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now tell me this thing, babe, because we don't argue, so this doesn't apply to us. But you know, there's all like. The makeup six is bitter, of, like bitter. What is that? <laughs> Tell the truth. I'm still trying to find that out. 
<laughs> because after you had the makeup sex, you can still be angry with that person. <laughs> <laughs> you can still hold that grudge. So it's like, okay, yeah, us is clear. But yeah. it was not a pun. We still never discussed what was supposed to be discussed. But we had makeup sex. So what's the big deal? <laughs> And the dude is like, yeah, yeah. I won this argument. I won this argument. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I gave you my best. But how awkward must that be? But it doesn't be? solve the like, problem. Yeah. Like, it's not solving any problem. I would problem. be that type of woman. I would be like, okay, let's let's get it on. But the minute we've cooled down, I'll be like, okay, so. Okay, so now let's get, let's get And then you'll be the like, point. what? Yeah, I'm gonna be like, nah, I'm in girlfriend, man. Yo, don't. It's coming to me so far, I'm still in that I'm, happy, jolly mood. Yeah, you know? like you're still, you know? Yeah, I'm still floating on the clouds. Floating on the clouds. <laughs> you could, Jay. Now, can we now speak because about Because that's this? the type of person I am. Yes. I will remind you of something so, until it's resolved. <laughs> makeup sex doesn't always yeah, solve a problem. Uh, guys, if you know about makeup sex, maybe yeah. you can like, help us out Let here. Us, I, I, tell us don't what's know. the big deal about it and how does it work because it doesn't work for us. Yeah, we've never had to... Mm, yeah. because, because now people's going to have makeup sex. They haven't solved no problem. Mm. They still go sleep. Mm. One of them. One of them, yes. Is going to still be sleeping mm. with that whole uh, something is unresolved. That something is not resolved. Yeah. 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 But it's fine. We'll speak about it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I never understood the whole, um, when that line, oh, I don't know where it comes from, but don't go to bed um, angry. Yeah. I think it's in the Bible. I'm not sure. I think don't it know. is, yes. I don't know. But we always hear the, the, um, the older Pastors people. Pastors and the priests and the older people. They always to say that, yeah. And Mini, I Mini. never understood it until I got well, married. Well, sloppy, yeah. Yeah. Because who wants to, you know, it's, you you don't sleep right. You I don't. don't. I don't know about you. I don't either. But I really don't sleep right. It's like I need you to. You toss and turn. Because you know there's something wrong. Because now you're quiet. So now you can't also be like laying there and then like turn around and hold and like, you know, cuddle and whatever. Like put the pillow in between. Yeah. You know, it's and un- I think the major problem is also. Because you need to realize that you need to wake up still the next morning <laughs> still with face. nothing solved. Still face that yes. person. So that's bothering you while you're sleeping already. Yeah. Because you're thinking about, hey, what do I do now? I have to dodge. I dodge. Yes. So now you're yes. planning. Yeah, yeah. You're putting plans in motion to dodge again, again the conversation. A negative. Yes. So, no, it's so true. I, I, I don't, I can't. It doesn't I can't. work. I really do appreciate the fact that we don't have... Heated arguments. We have disagreements. Yeah. We are mature enough to know that um, it's not going to matter. It's not going to do anything for us and for our relationship to argue constantly or or have an argument over something that is really not um, important. Yeah. You know, I really do appreciate that about you. And I'm I'm glad that your mommy and your daddy was such a good example to you. Mm. And I'm glad my mommy and my daddy was an example to me of how I don't what want not to, to be. Do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Because a lot of times, people, like you said, you know, people just think because that's how my parents were. So it's supposed to be that's this how way. That's it must be. It's the yeah. right way. Yeah. No, it doesn't have to be that way. You can... Um, seek help. You can read books. Yeah. You can, and, th- and that's the thing. There's nothing wrong by seeking help as a couple. Yeah, because that's also a problem for other couples. Mm. It's like we come on for therapy, gaan. Yeah, as us is mostly Mali. That's most like forget no Yeah, it's not that. But I also wonder, babe. Don't you also wonder? Like I think we watched on uh, that ninety day fiance nonsense mm. that you still enjoy watching. Um, scandal people you won't understand when people scandal. go for counselling like they drive home afterwards yeah, it's like an awkward moment I always wonder click, about click, that click click yeah and then they just stare <laughs> at each other so that side eye yes. you know, hey? yeah like I always wonder about that but besides that yeah. <laughs> that's a topic I for I also want to say you know um, seek counsel from Good people. That's it. Seek counsel, not from your single friends. Please. Yes, no, don't Ooh. involve 
Don't involve, yeah, with your marriage, do not involve your friends in your personal life. Yes. In your relationship. Yes. It doesn't work out. I've seen it happen in my marriage before. Yeah. Or previous, where the friends get involved. Yeah. And they take over. It and becomes a total mess. And also, so avoid that. be careful of involving your parents. Yeah. Um. You you obviously know your parents, so like so my, don't run to your mother, your yes. father. Yeah. Like I know, like my mommy will always give me godly advice. Hmm. Um, she'll always she that's the kind of advice she'll give me, even though she's she has had her experiences with my father. It's not that hasn't been positive. She will always go back to the Bible and what God says. Um, so if I do have, I mean, there was, was many times when I struggled with something that maybe um, be between me and between me and you, and I'm not going to her and say, yeah, you know, God did this. Well, I would be, and this is, I'm saying honest and, to you, and, and this go is going to live for forever. Advice. Go for advice and be like, mommy. Help um, me. Yeah, I don't understand, man. Yeah. Like, how can I make this better, you know? Um, and then she'll always be like, but the Bible says, and maybe you must see it from God's per- per- I just wanted to say now, yes. she always gives you a solution, like option one, option two. Yes. You know, um, see it from his side. Mm. And maybe if you don't do that and that, or mm. if you maybe say that and that, yes. let him shouldn't do this, that mm. and that. That should solve the problem. Yes. No, yes. she always to find that solution. Yeah. yeah. And but, it worked. Yeah. Uh, to be careful, like when you, sp- like seriously, because there's some in-laws that's, Maybe don't like your your partner, and then they wa- and some of them waiting feed. for something they like that. They feed off that. Yes, yes. They're like, "I will eat something with verkeer to hand to send the two." Yeah, and then that's what they, they feed, off, feed some of them. off that, and that's so. Oh, that's so. That's sad, also another sad really. thing. That's but really seek sad. seek advice, seek counsel from your pastor, from your priest, from another married couple that you think is. Is about positivity. Ask them, you know, guys. I'm coming to you in confidence. Um, I really, I'm I, my my spouse and I are struggling with something. What worked for you? Mm. You know, um, but the, but you must be you must know that they are a positive couple, a positive um, person, positive people that's going to help you and not damage your relationship gotcha. even further. Uh-huh. And Read books, you know, there's so many good podcasts that's even out there that talks about couples and what they mm-hmm. go through. There's many Christian books, many um, godly books. Let's put it godly books, religious books um, that can help you um, to navigate how to have better disagreements. And if you don't want to buy a book, there's Google. Yeah, Google's. Or, but yeah, but Google. Mm, <laughs> Yeah, Google is uh, also a very, but take counsel, look for people. If you, look, if you really want to solve something, you will really you will put make an effort. effort. That's what that, I was to say. I think that is just yeah. how we need to end this off. Yeah. If you find that your arguments is not working, you will make an effort to find out how to make your communication better. and or better make it work. and make it work. You will look with in yourself also. This is also another thing. We always want to blame the other person. Oh, the other person. Don't but want never, to listen. You never blame yourself. Never yeah. yourself. Never yeah, yourself. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, that's another thing I had to learn about myself is that I can't just keep blaming other people. Like I like I spoke about like insecurities. What was making me insecure? I can't just say, oh, you are making me insecure. But why? No. Why Where am did I it come feeling from? insecure? Where did it start? You know, so look within yourself. Um... Look for yeah. Look within yourself. Get good counsel, and um, argue healthily, man. Sometimes a, a liquor or disagreement is needed. Sometimes yeah. you know a liquor one. You know, like you must stop putting the TV like using the remote and blah 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 blah. Sometimes like you know it's stupid stuff. I'm just making up stupid stuff <laughs> along the way. I don't know what people argue about. We don't know. <laughs> Occupy a lot of stupid stuff. Yeah, nowadays. you know, but <laughs> seek good counsel and love each other, man. Yeah. Love each other. Yeah, I think that is... We still didn't argue. 
<laughs> I see it's for kids in the house. In a good way. In a good way. I just think, yeah, we, we yeah, just... I think um, we just understand each other very well. We just got lucky. Let's put it that way. For once in my life, I got lucky. <laughs> so, guys, thank you for watching our episode. And please follow us on Lounging with the Pearls, like our page, share our yeah. page, send us comments, suggestions. Exactly. And um, what if you guys want to hmm. know about us as a couple, um, even if it's a little advice, look, any advice is not stupid. Any question is not stupid. You know, so yeah. go mm. ahead. Don't be shy. Ask us whatever you want to ask us. And uh, if we can assist, wherever we can, we will. Yeah, and if we can't, we'll definitely go find it from our mom for some godly advice, you know. Yeah, and then we'll send it through to send you. Send it through or, yeah, just comment and say how you enjoying the episodes and what other topics you want us to talk about. Yeah, because you guys must remember without your support, this cannot happen. Yeah, that's true. No. It will just be me and you talking though. Yeah, to nobody. To nobody. <laughs> So until next time, see you guys. Bye. Be safe.